What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Cover Killer Nation here. Have to support the home team, Pittsburgh Steelers versus New York Jets this coming Sunday night. It's going to be brutal, and the Steelers are going to win. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk sports. I'm here to talk metal. I'm here to talk music. Of course, the first album of 2011 that I talked about was the December album, which is not metal at all. So it's time for me to kick off the year in the metal album of the year, uh, voting whatever cycle that you want to call it. And I'm going to start it off again with something different, something that I didn't get to talk to very much or really, I think, at all last year. It's power metal. Yeah, Stradivarius has a new album out here in 2011. In fact, it was released today in North America, entitled Elysium. And Stradivarius, if you aren't uh, too keen or you don't know too much about this band, well, I'll give you a very, very brief little synopsis about what they're all about. They're actually one of the more important forefra uh, forefathers and frontrunners in the uh, power metal, the neoclassical metal, and the progressive metal game. Uh, they really combine these three styles uh, very beautifully, and they've done that a lot more in their recent years. Uh, however, they have been seen as one of the most important power metal bands because they have dated all the way back to the uh, inception of the genre in the 1980s. They are listed amongst bands such as uh, Halloween as extremely important factors in this genre's development, uh, its growth, uh, and its popularity, especially in Europe. <clears throat> Now, with the new album here in 2011, if you don't know your recent history, uh, one of the core members is no longer a uh, part of the band, but that was true also of 2009's Polaris. Uh, I'm not going to get into the deeper, darker history behind all of this, of all the stunts and of all of the different personality conflicts, because that's all something you can Google or Wikipedia, and it all happened in the past before this album uh, even was thought about, so we're going to get right into the music. Now, Elysium is one of these albums where the centerpiece of the record is going to be the title track. And it's not because the title track is specifically, you know, something that you look for in each and every album, but it's because this one is 18 minutes long. It's what you would consider to be an, an opus or a suite, something where it is the center point of the album. It is the, uh, the, the, the thing that really captures your attention whenever you take a look at the back and they post the little song links on there and you're thinking, okay, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, 18 minutes. Oh boy. So this is what I like to call a make or break point. Now with a lot of progressive metal bands, there are a lot of songs that reach this length. It's not exactly a pinnacle point of the album. However, with an album such as this one, this is something where it is definitely a make or break because it is something that stands out. Not to mention it is going to encompass the last thing that you hear on the record. It's the last song on the album. So let's get to it. The title track, Elysium, and the rest of the record. Now. Whenever you think of Stradivarius, you will traditionally think of the power in the neoclassical side, unless you think of the more modern age, where it's a little bit more progressively enchanted, especially with the flowering keyboards, and that's something that is very apparent on this album. This album is also a little bit different than some of the stuff that they've done in the past. Uh, if you're not a power metal fan, if you're more of a progressive metal fan, you're actually going to like this album a fair amount, because there's a lot of progressive influence to this uh, album, to Elysium, which is definitely a positive point. Uh, because a lot of people may see power metal as a little bit cheesy, not to mention as one of those everything sort of sounds the same uh, type of genres, which I'll agree to a certain degree. There's a certain reviewer out there uh, who I'll pimp out right now, Doug, Doug Music Reviews, D Music Reviews, I believe his channel is, uh, that would definitely disagree and say that each of them have uh, their own individual characteristics. However, that's for him to tell you, not for me to tell you, because I'm here to tell you about this particular record. And it definitely shows a lot more progression, which is something that really harbors towards something that I like, something that I really enjoy. And Elysium itself, the center point of the album, that last track, really does this well. This is a really, really good song. They definitely uh, took this song, they took the 18 minutes and really knocked a home run, knocked it right out of the ballpark here with this particular song. Because it's very well crafted, it's crafted in mean, what I would say to be four different parts. Uh, some may say three. I actually consider it to be fourth. I consider the last part to be more of a finale, kind of the the, the return to the beginning, the return to the, the, the circle of life sort of, sort of thing. It's not really going right back to the original idea. However, it is sort of wrapping everything together. And this song really does it very well. It, it really encompasses all parts of what you would expect from something like this. You're not going to have 18 minutes of just huge power metal riffing and flowering keyboards, not to mention, you know, a thumping bass line and soaring vocals. This is something where they kind of put you on that little roller coaster ride, really set the atmosphere very well, and that's something that can also be a fitting metaphor for this entire record. This is a record that will have all of the above. It will have your flowering uh, keyboards maxed with the power metal 
uh, riffing with the soaring vocals, however, it's also something where they're able to take it down a little bit, kind of go a little bit more passionate, a little bit more, as some people say, ballady, but I actually consider it to be lower key, lower tempo, slower songs where they're able to really show the, and convey the emotion. And the emotion is very important in power metal uh, and also in progressive metal. So whenever you mold the two together, you have to have it, else you're not going to have a strong record. You're going to have something a little bit bland. So Stradivarius really combined these two elements well with Elysium. And the fact that they were able to do that, uh, do that very well for all of the tracks leading up to Elysium and then did it on Elysium itself, hey, that's pretty damn good. This is a really strong release. I'm really proud of this release because it's something where Stradivarius is a band that's not exactly always on my radar. Polaris came out and I kind of just shrugged it off in 2009. If you remember my Cover Killer channel, it didn't have a Polaris review, that's for sure. But Cover Killer Nation Troy's Hell is an Elysium review, and it's well-deserved because this is a strong album. Is this an album that may be a contender for Album of the Year? Well, let's see. I've reviewed two albums. Right now, it's either number one or number two. Maybe number one right now. End of the year? Not so sure. But I will say this. For Power Metal and for something that's a little bit outside of my realm, I like it. And for those of you who heard, uh, got to see me sample this CD in the blog TV last week, you definitely know that I was impressed, and you definitely could probably tell that this was going to be a positive review for me. That said, I expect two things from you guys. One, what do you guys think about this particular record? If you haven't heard it yet, you should definitely check it out. That's my uh, recommendation to you. Secondly, Doug, where's your review at, chump? <laughs> Stradivarius, Elysium, very well crafted, very well done. <laughs> I gotta say, they knocked it out of the ballpark with this one, especially on the 18 minute long opus, self-titled track Elysium, gotta love it, gotta love this stuff, check it out, highly recommend it.